everybody. It is Wednesday, July 3rd, and this is yet another edition of Baltimore Weekly, your guide to all of the interesting tech, innovation, and entrepreneurial activity here in Baltimore. Uh, my name is Andrew Hazlett with GBTC, and this is my inimitable colleague, Sharon Paley, also of GBTC, and we're very glad to welcome you uh, to this uh, weekly ritual. Uh, before we, we get into the, the meat of our show, we'd like to thank two of our shareholders who make all of our work possible, and uh, not just this podcast. And uh, uh, this week we want to thank uh, uh, a couple of them that uh, we've recently interacted with. Um, first up is uh, FastBot, which is a digital agency that um, has won many awards. It's an interactive agency dedicated to creating amazing websites and applications while delivering outstanding client service. Our team is committed to working collab, or sorry, their team is co committed to working collaboratively with clients and they're passionate about creating excellent user experiences. And we know that very well because we are customers and we have had outstanding service. And if you look at GB.PC, that's built by FastBot on their outstanding open source platform, BigTree. So take a look around and uh, see if you'd like to use one yourself. And
and anybody who's curious, as you listen or watch, you can go to b n i a j f i dot org and uh, take a look around. Uh, b- can you give us an example of, say, uh, uh, if I'm a neighborhood activist, and I know this this information is also of interest to social scientists and um, you know, c- civic authorities, et cetera, but if I'm just wondering about my neighborhood, uh, what are some of those surprising things that I can uncover by digging through the data that you've collected?
things because people are can could potentially build businesses on uh, on this information, um, whether it's retail or if you want to analyze the real estate market or something. There's a lot of untapped data out there, um, but and and I'm, and I'm thinking of the events itself of of Baltimore Saturday. Um, I kind of I can't think of anything, even the sort of cross pollinating events that we do, that's going to have such a mix of different communities in Baltimore, different uh, strong points. The, 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 uh, the super friends of Baltimore are gathering, <laughs> um, and uh, you know, to have the tech community, and I don't know, maybe people who are interested in things like hacking the parks or surveying. <laughs> I think there's, I mean, there's a lot of people that we've been dealing with lately who really uh, will, you know, are al already salivating at all of the data that we're talking about. <laughs> I think it would be great to have a Baltimore Community Event Day event on Saturday. I think that'd be really fun. I would love to go to one. Um, I think that would be a really fun event. Links to plenty. <laughs> and we'll see you there. Um, yeah, just follow us. <laughs> um, and, uh, um, well, thank you so much, Sumo. This is, uh, I mean, this is like deep, deep stuff, but it's also just like uh, salt of the earth improving Baltimore neighborhood by neighborhood stuff. So this really is, there is something for everybody. So uh, it's exciting. We're looking forward to it. about people, it's not just an abstraction of number of, it is number of people, it's also the people.
Is the answer to all your questions. I know it's not. That, uh, a lot of it, your recent interviews that you've done with uh, the Ellis Girls, which um, is an extremely well-attended uh, introduction to Ruby on Rails, targeting uh, women who would like to become programmers. And since that time, you know, this that's really opened up these meetups like this one. So if you are just a beginner or a novice, just d don't be afraid to show up. I, I don't... I don't want to say I don't want to say that even Sharon would be welcoming you in, but That's about engaging with you people. busy? Happy Independence Day.